Hello my fellow Modernauts, sun is shining and it's a good day to be Modo user. So in this video I will show you my compact VFport properties and give some thoughts about this AVP settings and maybe some tips to AVP, I mean advanced VFport. So let's go. As we all know, we can open the VFport properties from here or with the O key. But I find this form to be very busy and blocked. There's a lot of stuff you don't need, uh, really never. And the stuff you need, it's uh, they are in the four or three different tabs and are hard to find even if you know what you are looking for. So I have made a form for myself, which is like this. And basically I just have collect the settings I use most and put them in the better order. So let's go quickly through what I have here. And I say now you can download this from Pixel phone to a Discord and come road. I will upload it after this video is done. Let's have a look what I have here. One thing I like to change almost always is this background to environment because then there's a, this nice gradient and you can adjust it from environment settings, but we can not do it while animation is playing. So I have these presets. There's a big cell phone do a video how to make this. So let's change preset and we see nothing happens. So we have to change it like this. Okay, let's go back to the what I had. And second uh, setting I use a lot is curvature shading on and off. So now I have it on and there's some settings for it. Uh, I don't uh, use that much this uh, screen space geometric mode because I don't know, I like uh, more this. But this is nice when you want to see like how the subsurface uh, uh, surface is uh, dividing. You can see the topology nicely. But usually I use this one. And one setting I use a lot is wireframe settings. Let's turn it on. So usually I like it keep quite uh, dim. Maybe like this. Some people like a uh, like fat wireframes. Uh, I don't like much uh, this kind of stuff, but if you like, then you can do it. I turned on materials so we can see better the effects of uh, next settings, which are the environment and lightning. I like a lot of this new one, default and environment, because it gives you the lightning and reflections from the environment, but these shadows under here are not getting too dark when modeling. So if we look at the environment, for example, it's uh, way too dark for the modeling work. And next one I use is this uh, scene plus environment. And we have to turn on the lights and light illumination. This is kind of stupid because now we have lights. When I want to have a more control, then I use uh, this one. And we have lights here. So the annoyance of this setting is that if I turn lights off, I lose the lightning. I, I will always have to have these ones here to show the light of the lights. Uh, I know they are fixing this but it's not fixed yet, so it's a bit annoying. 
and there's like uh, uh, in my opinion, a bit of stupid things if you turn on the light, so so lights and light illumination, and you go to scene, then you have everything is uh, like black because you don't have the lights. I think uh, this. Um, I hope they remake these settings because at the moment they are not making a lot of sense. And I put this uh, my favorite back. And I have shadow settings here, so I think uh, that's all for this one. So next I have this um, anti-aliasing I don't usually use because it gets uh, quite slow. Sometimes I you use the progressive. Let's see what uh, I have to stop the animation so when I when camera is moving there's no anti-aliasing I don't know if it's visible but when I stop uh, it will start to anti-aliase stuff so that's a nice I think ambient occlus occlusion let's try it uh, and now we have to wait for a while, I think. Okay, uh, now we have some ambient occlusion. If I turn it off, you may see the difference, for example, there. So it's quite subtle. That's nice. And one thing I noticed is that if I set this progressive to zero, we get Pitakli shading there and there and so if you have that kind of effect you can set progressive to something higher and get nice clean results. So I will skip the depth of field now. Uh, maybe use it uh, at the end for the beauty shot. But the next one is these materials and groups. I'm not exactly sure what they are doing but they affect performance and they control how this shader tree, shader tree is evaluated uh, warning it may take quite a lot of time when you first time change this setting like minutes modo hangs but after that it's uh, usually faster but it may be that if you change some other settings and then you change it again, then it uh, hangs again. So these uh, groups, we see small effect here. Full, there's something happening. Uh, don't ask me what, but there's difference. And also this basic and full is quite a different results. And as I don't know what they are doing, I just usually toggle between them and choose the one I like. And transparency, I think it's a quite self-explanatory. Explanatory. Uh, don't know how to say that one. And ski screen space reflections. Also, it's like objects reflecting each other, not only environment and there's also warning that blurry the fast uh, I don't like this fast uh, uh, usually I don't use that all because it's just basically ugly for me look uh, like really CGI and blurry it's a huge performance hit it's like even my cursor is um, getting slow so not useful for modeling or anything else but I think it could be used uh, in the play past play blast for example if you want to have a really nice play past blast turn it off for now so I think uh, that was almost all for now uh, we haven't normal maps and pump maps quite uh, self explanatory 
ternary again. I will check how to pronounce that someday. And also warning will cause hang usually when turned on first time. So I don't remember. So I've turned on them so it it was okay. I don't have you I don't use pump maps this scan so that doesn't do anything for now. So this is uh, all my settings. I rarely open this one. Uh, maybe ambient intensity. I'm maybe I put it in here too. And I'll set up the camera for the depth of the field. So now we have the depth of the field also there. You have to be in camera VF and from camera effects you have to enable the depth of the field. So I would say this is looking quite good. But now it's uh, also the performance is a bit slow, but uh, looking really good. Great day to be a Modo user, and as Greg said, it's getting better. And you can download this uh, form from uh, Pixel Fondue, and I'll upload it in the Gumroad also if you want you can support my work by paying what you want in the come road so see you next time okay i'm back because uh, i added something i thought i was finished but i add form press it for this form so this means that you can save these settings and load them like now i save this uh, all these settings to super hoku and i have made this basic okay and i'll get these settings i set earlier and then i can I can come back to this super high quality settings quickly so I don't have to individually change every setting and, and an other thing I want to show you is uh, this form I think I will share it with the with this one for toggling uh, off and on different uh, kind of visibilities so let's uh, get here to basic and uh, for example centers we are here and select your normals uh, these are kind of things that are all over the uh, ui and i have collected them to this one one form where i can toggle off everything and i have also i have uh, i use hotkey control alt 3 for this it's not ideal, I don't know why I put there and shift 3 for this, but you can map them to whatever you want. I'll make a config file for that. So that's all this time, I hope. See you.